welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a review of flying Virgin Premium Class from Barbados to Heathrow. We flew from Grantley Adams International Airport, which is the only airport on the island. All the check-in desks were out in the open, only covered by a roof. This made for a very different atmosphere than one that you would get in a British airport. For check-in, we didn't have to queue very long. Our flight was around 10pm, meaning the airport itself wasn't very busy. Also, the staff checking us in were friendly, greeting us with a smile. This was the same situation with security, friendly, fast and efficient. By the way, if you haven't already and you enjoy my videos, feel free to go and click the subscribe button ready for more videos to come. Because it was so late at night, nearly all the shops were closed. The only food place we could find was Subway and the only shops open were a Barbados trinket shop and a posh chocolate shop. The chocolate shop was absolutely extortionate and slightly out of my price range. As Grantley Adams is a small airport, we didn't have to walk very far to reach the gate. This is completely different to Heathrow. Again, we didn't have to wait very long before we boarded. However, while we were waiting, we got to see our aircrew boarding before us. We were the second group of people to board the aeroplane after those in upper class. Similarly to when we arrived, we walked outside to get to the aeroplane. I must say I prefer this because it gave me the opportunity to film the outside of the aeroplane rather than a boring tunnel. So far, we hadn't had any issues with queuing. However, although we were the second group of people to board, we spent a lot of time waiting to get onto the actual aeroplane. Once on the aeroplane, we sadly didn't turn left and walked into a mass of people trying to get to their seats. They were also trying to place their hand luggage in the above lockers all at once. When we finally got to our seats, we were greeted with little goodie bags that I will talk about later. The seats were set out in three rows parallel to the windows in a 2-3-2 pattern. I was very happy that me and Josh got to sit next to each other on the whole flight. Similar to upper class, we were given welcome drinks. This time I had Prosecco so I could celebrate the amazing holiday we just had. Then it was time for takeoff. If you would like to see our takeoff then carry on watching but if you would like to carry on with the review feel free to skip ahead. I hope you enjoyed that takeoff. Now for the best bit, the goodie bag review. If you'd like to see the difference between this bag and the one in upper class, please check out my previous video. The colour theme for this goodie bag was red and brown, unlike in upper class, which was black and brown. Inside, there was an eye mask, a bamboo toothbrush, some earplugs, a pen and a tube of toothpaste. Unfortunately, and to my disappointment, there was no pair of socks in there this time round, but like in the first video, I may have pinched all of these items. Once we had settled down, we were given some little barbecue nibbles. I wasn't too keen on them, so gave them to Josh, who was very happy to take them off my hands. We also took this time to look through the menu. For the evening meal, there was three mains to choose from, one starter and one dessert. Then for breakfast, there was two mains to choose from and some sides. Originally, I chose the ricotta ravioli, but they had unfortunately run out. So I had the Indian chicken and chickpea curry with rice, peas and pumpkin instead. In the end, I was happy that they'd run out of ravioli because the curry was delicious. The chocolate cheesecake was also yummy and sweet. When the food came out, all the dishes came out at once rather than separately and we still got our little aeroplane salt and pepper pots. 
When the meal was finished, I took the opportunity to get a cup of tea before the lights were switched off. For the rest of the flight, I watched a couple of movies, including Bullet Train, Hotel Transylvania, and of course, Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. I really am a sucker for re-watching movies over and over and over again. <laughs> My plan after watching the movies was to sneak a video of the sunrise, however that didn't exactly go to plan. It started off really well as you can see the sun slowly appearing throughout the videos, but just before the big finale, you guessed it, I fell asleep. Future Saren is kicking past Saren right now. But anyway, please enjoy the next couple of minutes of the almost sunrise. Once the lights were turned back on, breakfast was served. I had the cooked breakfast, which must have been my only negative of the whole flight. It was extremely watery and had an odd texture. This was disappointing because I normally love aeroplane breakfasts, so I just ended up eating the fruit given on the side. For the flight, we were given a blanket, which may be currently in my living room. We were also given some headphones, however I just wanted to show you the difference between upper and premium class headphones. The premium class headphones were small and didn't cover my ears, they also kept popping off as I moved, compared to the upper class headphones which perfectly covered my ears and were controlled by a switch on the side. From this point onwards, we had a slow and long descent into Heathrow. It took quite a while before getting into the airport as there were lots of aeroplanes in the circuit at the same time also descending. If you would like to play how many aeroplanes can you spot, then skip ahead to the next section. However, if you would like to see the views from our descent, please keep watching. So, how many aeroplanes do you think there are? One? Six? Ten? Or was I having you on and there's zero? <laughs> Don't worry, I wasn't joking. There are many aeroplanes to come. Well, there's one. Bet you had to squint to spot it. Come on, can you see it? Can you see it? Ah, oh, there it is. Two down. There's number three. If you can't see number four, then I just can't help you. My camera doesn't do this justice. This was very, very close to us. Just before you thought there couldn't be any more, there's number five. If you guessed five, bravo to you. <laughs> if you spotted any more, please let me know in the comments. Because the weather was so clear during our descent, we were able to see a lot of London from above. If you would like to see our landing, carry on watching.
premium class was a great experience. It felt like we were waited on hand and foot like in upper class. So a huge thank you to the flight crew. The only difference was the quality wasn't as spectacular as upper class, especially regarding the food. However, I would totally recommend flying premium class wherever you go. Getting off the airplane was a lot quicker and easier than getting on it. We also didn't have to wait very long for our bags as we were in premium class and the second group to get on and off. I was very sad to say goodbye to Barbados and bye to the airplane. Thank you to everyone who watched this video and my last one. I really appreciate your support. See you all in the future. Bye.